This is Sean Cody, TexasWatchTalk.com. This is a IWC reference 371701. Or is it? Unscrew that crown. This does not wind very smoothly. So basically what we really have here is a fake. And, you know, the... Um, You know, it winds kind of rough. It doesn't wind like a normal 70, 750. Um, pull this out all the way. There, you see that date flip over. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but the date wheel is a little bit different. It's a actual blacker black than the dial. That's not normal, uh, a real... 37, 1701. Okay, so we're back. Um, see how the date flips over. It starts at about 11.30. That goes pretty fast. Monday, the day itself changes about almost 2 a.m. It's about 10.05. Yeah, but this, going back to this, it just doesn't wind like a real Valjoux 7750. <clears throat> the crown, when you try to screw the crown down, well, that went pretty good. Um, when it's fully wound up, it's a lot harder. It just doesn't feel smooth. There it goes. That's no, not too bad. The... Um, Case back, the machining's a little bit, you know, seems rougher than you would expect from an IWC. Um, when I first saw this, I kind of took that as just the age of the watch. It's, let that chronograph run. Yeah, it does reset to zero, so that's not too bad as far as fakes go, I suppose. Sad thing is it's a beautiful watch, and if you didn't know what to look for, and uh, I'll have to open up the back, but if you didn't know what to look for, you would think it was a legitimate Yeah, look at that. So, if you didn't know what to look for, you would think this was a legitimate uh, 3717. Okay, here's the watch with the case back off. So this is a fake Chinese copy of an ETA 7750. Steel rotor or a steel movement with a gold rotor? Interesting. The rotor, the bearing that's in there, is incorrect. It should have a bigger bearing on it. And you'll see that that rotor that spins around has mm -hmm. got a bigger bearing and a clip that I've got a special machine. I turn it and pull the whole bearing assembly out, and it's almost twice as big. As so this is the inside of the case back, and these are acid etched, not engraved or stamped. And Swiss watches are going to be stamped 